Are you up, campers? Ow! Bastard nettles! Little shit! Anyway, it's my birthday. So I'm with my two manly mates who are doing manly things. <laughs> Health and safety, please, can just keep the comments to themselves. Look, right manly is our Greg. <laughs> That's right, noisy. Look, this, we're in this we're in this field. Surrounded by logs. Chucking them on fire later. What a swing, what an aim. <laughs> and this is Dazzle's new bus. He had a T. Some of other before. Was it T5? T5 and a half or something? T7. <laughs> what you had before? Don't trip up. So it's going to convert this Iveco. Yeah, special bus for special people. <laughs> oh, this nestle. The sun's come out, it's been bleeding freezing today. This is a nice little spot, isn't it? In the Weirdale. Apparently there's, a, there's a, a black panther or puma or something on the loose. I think it's a weird wolf because we're in Weirdale. There's nobody's seen it. They're just finding sheep carcasses. Weirwolf. That's what I think. You're on camera now. Bullseye, come on. Oh! <laughs> what about you, Dazzle? Yeah. Can, you, can you do any better? So I'm going to use my right hand this time and show my left. Because I'm right handed. You use your left hand? hand? What? Why did you lose your left hand? Think like this come from my 50 pound S wing. <laughs> this one's not going to bend, is it? It's fucking better not. My turn. Have you got a light there? Mine keeps disappearing, I don't know where they go. Oh, it's heavy as that. Here. <laughs> Get closer. Is it recording now? Yeah. <laughs> Never even got as far as fucking woodpile, you fucking German. <laughs> Can't see it from here. You fucking useless twat. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't seen you get it in a log. <laughs> Come on then. Is it in? Where is it? Have you missed? Have you missed again, Dazzle? It's stuck in, look. Where? Yeah, we're going to pull it out there. <laughs> I think you both need lessons well, off Liam. Right arm this time. Day I need anything off fucking Liam will be a sad day for mankind. Fucking lessons off Liam, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> I want to say, Liam, the terrible van builder, you ain't got an axe. This, this axe. big. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I told you, I used my right arm. Well, why did you try with your left? It's a challenge. It's so easy doing it with your right. What? Well, clearly, that's why we're all doing so well. 
Yeah, that's where that's where your right arm's for. <laughs> I haven't seen him too much space in the door. Greg Gregory. Gregory. Come on, Greg Gregory. Fuck me, I'm shooting now, you bastard. <laughs> My I turn. No one wants to pick it up when it's gone on the floor. I'll pick it up. <sighs> What's the language? Gregory? Yeah. <coughs> I didn't play with pen knives. I was a protected child. You like that getting in that hole? It wasn't in that hole, it was in the hole. You didn't do it for it. You need a bigger one for that. You need a bigger one. I played this as well, you know. This one. Yes, I did hear it. Thank you very much when I was still half asleep. Not sure I've ever seen the uh, sunrise here, yeah. but I can see it today. It's 6.25. There's people on the beach. You can see them. They've been in the sea. They've got a fire lit. That's yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm still in Redka. Come down to a different part of the beach. You know, there's some lovely beach. Bits. Beaches. Here. And they're nearly empty. And people just don't like coming to Redka. But if you like beaches, it's not a bad place to be. And then you go up the coast somewhere and you get 50 million people blooming round into a. 100 foot by 100 foot square. It's like exaggeration, but <laughs> still, you get the idea. It's alright in here, it's lovely. See the old steel works? I saw on the, on the landscape, on the horizon. All being dismantled at the minute. Some quite interesting shapes in there. It's like two massive big pipes laid on the floor. It looks like two cut off legs. I'd like to get a picture of it, but I don't think I'd do it justice. Anyway. Oh, look. Can you see what I can see? sea monsters so this is the view out of my back doors today isn't it beautiful 
Very lucky to be here. Sea's so got to be my favourite place to be. Seaside. Well, <clears throat> beaches. The sea. So exhilarating walking next to the sea. <clears throat> Number one place to be. I oh, don't know, but that's to do with a few happy memories I've got as a child. <laughs> Being on holiday with my mum, dad, and my sisters. You can sit and watch those waves all day. Anyway, good morning everybody. <laughs> For those of you who can't get to the beach right now but would like to be here, here's some sea. I'm playing this game. I don't know, I've never discovered it before. <laughs> You'll have to excuse my monkey horrible feet. It's the only pair I've got though. But you stand in the water oh, and, and what the waves will come over your feet and then you just focus on your feet as the waves go out and it feels like you're going backwards up the beach. <laughs> That like sand surfing. I don't know if I'll be able to. Oi. If you'll get that sensation like I'm getting. Whoa. <laughs> I'm still moving. I'm still moving back up the beach. Stop now. <laughs> I'm having lots of fun. And great. <laughs> tiny things for tiny minds. <laughs> Seriously, you want to try it? It's right good fun. I thought so anyway. Never experienced that before. I just thought I'll stand in the water, I'll be in the moment, I'll watch the, the sea over my feet, and then I got that sensation! <laughs> Try it! You get a chance. Right. I don't mean to be an irritable bastard, but that bird is right pissing me off. What bird it is. You need a new tune. <laughs> oh, it's got red. <sighs> Tell you. <sighs> oh, come on. It were annoying. It's annoying. You know, some bird song's beautiful, isn't it? <whistles> oh, that's just annoying. It's annoying noise. <laughs> it's like your voice, Carl. That's a bit annoying as well. Well, you know me. I like creatures, great and small. But that would just right get on my tits. Tell you. Anyway. Moving on. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm right tired. I'm having some weird dreams at the minute. Um, night before last, I was in a relationship <laughs> with Gordon Brown. 
Gordon Brown, fucking politician. I don't even know where that's come from. I haven't thought about Gordon Brown. I haven't been thinking. Uh, see, I haven't seen him anywhere. No idea. Last night I was getting close to Johnny Depp, which is a little bit more understandable than Gordon Brown, to be fair. I don't know what's going on in my head. I feel tired from all these dreams. <laughs> anyway, right, so, yeah, I'm back inland now, away from my precious sea. For now, anyway. And I need to take my van to the garage. Some welding needs doing. I went to see the guy at the garage a few weeks ago and he said... We'll wait till the weather gets a bit better. Although I don't know why he said that, because it's like it's not like he's doing it outside or has to do it outside, I don't think. Oh, okay. So I took it back two or three weeks ago before I went to Redcurt and I'm like, well, it's four day week this week, four day week next week, the week after, where blah 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 blah. We're booked up, da 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 da. Okay. Um come back in a couple of weeks or something. So I rang. Can you fit me in? Oh, yeah, it'd be another month. Fucking month. Month. There was somebody actually who said that he could spot weld a, a wheel arch on because it's the wheel arch that needs doing, obviously. And then somebody else has said, no, it needs more than spot welding. Because the idea was to spot weld it on and then I'll just put a load of filler over top. Good as new. Uh, so I don't know. I, I'm going to go to the garage tomorrow and ask him if he can spot weld it maybe that might be a quicker job than seam welding that's all like i know what i'm talking about <laughs> i've got an idea we'll see i just don't i don't think he wants to do it so many people just don't want to do welding anymore but it needs welding i mean it's not structural at the minute but you know what rot um rust is like it's rot isn't it just creeps along and gets everything eventually so and it looks a mess anyway i mean it's it's just like dropping in bits now it's just not good so that needs to do my handbrake needs sorting out because it's when i let it off it clicks back on not so much that it stops me driving or anything but um i think the possibly the cable stretched so it goes i had a look at it and there's like a, a brass sort of entwined cable thing just a brass cable I suppose and that's attached to the handbrake and when I left let the handbrake off that should go straight down through a hole by the looks of it but it's bending it's kinking so it's not going down that hole um which means that the handbrake goes down and then jumps back up that needs sorting my fuel tank's leaking um, to be fair, it's been doing that a while, but um, I think that's got worse. And who can afford to waste fuel these days? Somebody said there might be a pipe off. I can try and get under and have a look. Or there might be a crack in the tank. I, I really don't know. This is what happens, in it, when you have an old van. There's always something else that needs sorting out. But then new vans bring their own issues as well, you know, especially with all the electronics and everything, which are really expensive and complicated to sort out. So, you're fucked either way, really, aren't you? Anyway, um, those things need sorting. So, I'll see what happens in the next few days. Well, I might be having a drive to Stonehenge, possibly. Anyway... I'll leave it there. I was just an end bit. I was going to put this at the beginning, but it's going to be an end bit now. So it, it, it was just my birthday last month. So I just did a little bit of videoing and there's some sea action. As you, well, I don't know why I'm telling you because you'll have watched the video up to this point. Hopefully. So I don't need to tell you. Maybe I'll put this at the start. Oh, I don't bloody know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked all and all that malarkey also don't forget to check out my shop my online shop for some unique handmade gifts <coughs> sun catchers lots of sun catchers and jewelry uh which is just what you need this time of year when we're getting some sun she says looking for the sun yesterday was lovely actually yesterday was like a summer's day 
anyway i'm going now thanks for being here thanks for your lovely comments and i'll see you next time bye for now Thank you.